What's up, my dudes? My name is Spencer Turley, and this is the track review of Way She Goes SX. So, pretty interesting little track here. I It's really old. I just was digging through some old tracks and found it. So, uh, it's actually pretty fun. I was expecting to find some easier Supercross tracks so that I could ride on them with the 125. And uh, this is definitely that for sure. It's really tricky, though. Uh, some of these triple ends and stuff. I uh, definitely recommend all you guys trying it out on the 125 because it's... It's just like it's just perfectly built for a 125. You really got to be on it, but you can. it's still possible to hit all your triple ends and stuff. So tons of fun. Whoop section's easy enough to where it's not just going to, you know, send you a flipping and stuff. So uh, your triple's not like just bam right out of a corner where you got to have like 450 traction or anything. Uh, so tons of fun. 125 action. And yeah, I got the... Uh, I don't even know what happened right here. My front end just went squirrely as a... I don't even know what, man. That was crazy. <laughs> I, that corner kind of set you up funky for the next... It's like you got to hit this little double right here. And uh, if you don't get it far enough to the outside, uh, it will it does weird things with your front end. It just like flips it over and stuff. So be careful on that. But uh, yeah, fun track. It's kind of just got the kind of sunset vibe happening so that's cool uh that triple right you triple in on that tabletop and you also do a quad right here so oh it's so much fun on the 125 man you got seat bounce it just be hauling butt first second third maybe even fourth i don't even know what but uh yeah so so a lot of fun and then that's another you got to triple over to that tabletop and it's tough to hit on the 125 so uh but yeah pretty fun for sure all this like off track stuff looks pretty good it's kind of got like the standard building and uh whatnot so uh just a fun little super cross track and nothing crazy though i mean if you're on a 450 you probably there's probably some bigger lines and stuff you could hit too so uh probably jump some of these rhythms in like two jumps so i uh, did the same thing again lost my front end in that same stupid corner but I'm telling you guys it it uh they just set you up where it's just one of them weird corners like that but pretty smooth track overall definitely more like a 2011 or 12 something so really smooth pretty easy so good for practice if you're more beginner so uh all the off track looks pretty good it's pretty basic but uh it all looks okay too at the same time got the grass some trees here and there so uh ground decal looks pretty good and you can definitely tell it's an older supercross track so i can't give it too much flack but uh, a lot of fun built well for sure so uh that's if you're on a 125 and you're trying to get a little better on it uh one little tip is you can go try to download some of them older tracks from like 2011 and 12 and stuff and and uh they should be quite a bit easier a little bit easier to hit some of the stuff on a 125 but um and also if you didn't know the rm 125 woo it's like uh worlds above all the other 125s but i still ride the yz 125 i think it's fun but uh the rm 125 that's what i'm on right now i know it looks like a kawasaki but it's actually an rm uh that rm 125 man it's like a 250f i'm telling you it's got a whole nother whole nother gear whole nother level it doesn't have a whole nother gear it's got a whole nother level <laughs> you know what i'm saying though it's like you're in seventh gear or something so anyways fun track overall and uh let me play this back some third person way she goes sx i'm not really sure what where the heck that name came from but cool i guess so anyways it's just kind of like that simple compound supercross track or something just kind of uh, like backyard supercross maybe something like that so uh, that's a fun little quad right there for the 125 and uh, yeah this triple right here is pretty tough one it's uh it's just tough to get it all the way over you know but uh, challenging on the 125 so tons of fun but anyways i'm gonna say overall i'm gonna give a track a solid uh I'm going to give it a six overall and don't like take that the wrong way thinking, oh my God, Spencer gave a track a six. It's not, I'm not saying it's bad. It's just, it's old school, you know, it's an older track. So you can definitely tell it's a little dated, but I got to rate it uh, either way. So uh, and six is not bad. This is definitely above average right here. So um, just as far as it, slightly above average anyways. So there I go, just completely losing my front end. Let me see exactly what happened there. Gosh, that looks crazy. You see that? What the heck? My front end just went whoop. That is crazy. I've never seen such on MX Simulator before. What on earth, man? My front end just like, my suspension, why did my suspension compress like that? Like I totally lost the front end and then it just like jackknifed and just cut, it like totally blasted into the ground. My front suspension just bottomed out and flipped me right over. I've never had that happen before. That's pretty bizarre, but anyways, so uh yeah so pretty fun and uh 
yeah, like I'm saying, I gotta give some tracks lower than a 10. I'm sorry, guys, I gotta be truthful about it. <laughs> but obviously, this is an older track, so I can't give it like a 10 or something. But so six overall, and I'm gonna say the difficulty. Uh, it's about that medium range of difficulty. It's definitely not a hard supercross track or anything. So if you're a beginner, you pr shouldn't have any trouble. Some of these bigger rhythms might catch you off guard if you're like just straight up beginner, but you should get it pretty easy over time. So anyways, so appreciate all you guys watching these videos and I'll keep on making them. Thanks guys.